hi there welcome to edupediaworld.com you're watching the videos on quadrilaterals so this is the first video for quadrilaterals so in this video we'll discuss introduction to quadrilaterals so actually what are quadrilaterals uh, why we need to learn about quadrilaterals and where we can use the quadrilaterals and then we'll discuss angle sum property related to quadrilaterals similarly as you have learned and used the angle sum property of triangle so same way we'll learn more about the angle sum property of quadrilateral. So let's get started with the first topic which is introduction to quadrilaterals. Now introduction to quadrilateral says that you have studied many properties of triangle like we have a triangle like this we can say ABC or we have a triangle like this so we have studied many properties of triangle that angle sum property of triangle is 180 degree and we need at least three points non-collinear points to join to make a triangle so and the figure so obtained is triangle let's say if we have three collinear points so we can have only a straight line let's say if I have four collinear points then only also we can have a straight line only so similarly to make a four-sided figure like this like this and like this we need we need at least four non collinear points now so we need non collinear points however let's say if we have three out of four let's say four collinear points let's say then also we can make a quadrilateral no it's not possible let's see how it's not possible suppose we have three collinear points and one is non collinear point so when we join these all these points we still have a triangle so in the end i can say that to make a quadrilateral like this to make a quadrilateral like this we must have four non collinear points like this and when we join them we'll get a quadrilateral so this is how we can get a quadrilateral a b c and d now let's discuss what are the properties of quadrilateral suppose we have a quadrilateral like this a b c d or p q r s whatever we can write now the quadrilateral has four angles it has four angles four sides so what are the four sides one two three four and we have four vertices and like this this is the first second third and fourth and we have let's say we can write we have two diagonals one is this diagonal and another is this diagonal so we have two diagonals so these are the general properties of the quadrilateral which we will use further to learn more about the properties of quadrilateral now let's discuss why we need to learn about quadrilateral so the uh, need to learn about, about the quadrilateral is that let's say if we have a blackboard and and let's say we have a book any book we can say or second so maths NCRT book or we have a table anything we see around okay now anything we see around let, let's say we have a room room space or we have let's say can we say floor ceiling anything we see around is in a form of quadrilateral so if we know how what are the properties of quadrilaterals and we can use the quadrilateral to measure the area perimeter or whatever we want to design further so we can use the properties of quadrilateral to do certain things so that's why we need to learn more about the quadrilaterals now so let's move on to the next topic now angle sum property of quadrilateral now the angle sum property of quadrilateral says that the sum of angles of quadrilateral is 360 degree so let's see how we can prove this so we are given with this quadrilateral a b c d a b c d 
and we have one diagonal AC so this is a diagonal and we need to prove that the angle sum property is 360 degrees so let's see how we can prove that so proof let's discuss the proof now first of all consider triangle ADC and in triangle ADC we can say that angle D plus angle D A C plus angle A C D equals to 180 degree why we can say that angle sum property of triangle we can say that now so sim let it be first equation similarly consider triangle ABC in this triangle we can say that angle B plus angle B A C plus angle B C A equals to 180 degree again you can say that angle sum property of triangle now let it be the second equation now what we can do is we can add 1 and 2 what we get is angle D plus angle B plus angle D A C plus angle A C D plus angle B A C plus angle B C A equals to 180 plus 180 now this is angle D plus angle B now angle D A C D A C is this angle and angle A C D is this angle now angle B A C is this angle so we can say that angle D A C plus angle B A C they both form angle A why they both form angle A because if you see angle D A C is this angle and angle B A C is this angle so this angle plus this angle makes angle A so we can write angle A similarly if we check angle A C D A C D is this angle and angle B C A B C A is this angle so this angle plus this angle forms angle C so we can say that this angle and this angle forms angle C so we can write angle C equals to 360 degree so this is the angle sum property which says that angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D equals to 360 degree so this is how we can prove the angle sum property of quadrilaters so thank you once again for watching this video on edupedia world.com keep watching further videos have a nice day ahead